Hey guys, the market is showing a slight decline due to the sell-off following the news about the launch of the Bitcoin ETF. Therefore, this is a great opportunity to add another interesting altcoin to your portfolio before it goes to an all-time high. What is this SEI and why is this coin the future? Can SEI become the new Solana? And most importantly, is it the right time to buy this asset? Let's find out now. I would like to start this video with an introduction to this fascinating project. SEI is the native coin of the L1 project of the same name, which the team claims is the fastest blockchain in the world. According to their claimed technical indicators, the blockchain is faster than Solana. In fact, these are very ambitious claims, and although they are not entirely true, the blockchain is indeed close to being the fastest. This is a very good result considering that SEI is a relatively new project that is gradually starting to develop and grow. Last month, SCI demonstrated a rapid boom in the entire ecosystem. SCI Labs also has some very interesting partners and supporters of its work. With friends like that, you can do a lot because you immediately have more opportunities for partnerships and technical development of your product. And if we go back to the ecosystem, we can see that it is quite large and includes everything from wallets and exchanges to GameFi, NFT, and even RWA. And in the near future, we'll be launching a partnership with Circle. SCI solves a very important trilemma with its technology, which immediately takes blockchain to another level. After all, a conventional Ethereum, in my opinion, the most important blockchain on the market, cannot provide a 100% solution to this problem. Ethereum, unfortunately, is not able to provide high speed for its operations. While SCI is able to make a huge number of requests, thereby significantly speeding up the time of operations. So let's find out what the future holds for SCI. But first, subscribe to the channel and like the video so you don't miss out on future ones. First of all, it should be clarified that SCI is a relatively new project that is just starting its way in this market. I believe that this bull run will be indicative of many blockchains, and SCI will become one of the biggest leaders. Personally, I really like the fact that SCI is a parallelized blockchain, which means that operations on this blockchain are performed as quickly as possible. Although I see a lot of talk about SCI being the new Ethereum killer, it seems to me that it is too early to even look in that direction. After all, we have already seen many such projects that were supposed to take at least a small part of the Ethereum market, but only Solana actually managed to do it. So it would be more logical to compare SCI with Sol. But first, I suggest you take a look at the SCI chart. In the last month alone, the token has grown by more than 200%. Of course, this is a very cool result, and I can already see how comments will be written under this video saying that I did not talk about the asset when it was 20, 30, 40 cents. And it's true, I didn't talk about SCI when the coin was much cheaper, but I'm not disappointed because I see it as a medium-term investment, so I have much bigger goals. So I suggest we go back to comparing SCI to Sol because they have a lot in common, and I suggest we start with the more positive similarities. Let's start with the ecosystem. Both Solana and SCI are doing quite well, especially considering that SCI is a rather new blockchain. Of course, Solana is much bigger, but Solana itself is much older. Solana has come back into the spotlight in recent months with a huge amount of activity in the shitcoin space, with hundreds of thousands of daily transactions and millions of dollars in revenue. Likewise, the NFT sphere has started to gain momentum quite quickly, and while Solana has only returned a small portion of its old assets, SCI is only gaining momentum, and I am sure that over time this blockchain will be able to take over a large part of the market. The shitcoin ecosystem is starting to look like the Solana market, and I am sure that this similarity will only increase over time. And the same can be said about the NFT direction. In addition, the SCI ecosystem has quickly started to develop GameFi projects, which will increase the audience of the blockchain. I also believe that we can see the transition of active users from uninteresting and no longer relevant blockchains, such as Binance Smart Chain, to more relevant ones, such as SCI and Solana. Therefore, if we look at the long term, I see quite good chances for the development of this blockchain, which will occupy key positions in all popular market narratives. But is it as good as it seems? After all, SCI has cool technology and a pretty good team that clearly understands how to develop their product, so I suggest we move on to my prediction for the coin's potential price. Let's go back to the token and its tokenomics. Now, SEI is in the top 50 tokens by market cap with a capitalization of $1.7 billion, which is quite a lot for a new project. In addition, the coin has shown simply unrealistic growth rates in recent months, 
SCI has grown by almost 660% and recently reached its all-time high of 0.87 cents. And I am sure that we will see a lot more growth, but there are some factors that can be identified as red flags. Many people may not like SCI's tokenization. Some may even see it as similar to what Solana had especially because of the private investment round where a large part of it is taken up by the team's tokens. And of course, there are a couple of reasons for that. First, a fairly large percentage of the tokens are held by the team. 20% of the total supply can have a really big impact on the SCI price. Second, another 20% of the total supply is held by private sale participants. What does this mean for us? More than $5 billion in tokens are locked up and will gradually come to market. This will dilute the capitalization and reduce the value of a token, which will have a mathematically negative impact on the project in the long run. According to the token unlocking information, both the team and the private equity participants will gradually receive their funds. However, they will receive it in very small amounts. Although I don't like tokenization, it seems to me that the token unlocks are very well planned. However, there is always the possibility that the team or investors will decide to sell a large amount of tokens at once and drive up the price, or more thoughtfully manipulate the price of the asset. Of course, it is always difficult to make predictions, especially in a market like this, but we have a clear example of Solana with a similar product and similar tokenization distribution. Therefore, I think it is quite likely that the story of Solana will repeat itself, which in 2021 showed excellent growth plus ecosystem development. After that, everyone learned about it and it started to grow exponentially. As I mentioned, SCI is already showing some unrealistic indicators and this blockchain already has a pretty cool ecosystem. Therefore, I believe it is quite likely that it will grow to the current Solana market cap by 17 to 20 times. Finally, SCI has quite good potential, but in any case, do not forget the risks associated with the not-so-good tokenization. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the growth of coins and new trends. Thanks for watching your CoinPost.